Your groom look like a broom and it make me ha ha ha. Do they mean his hair is messy? Do they mean he's tall and skinny? Horse hair? What could be the insult here? What's up, you're watching Hive Mind, the most devious show on the internet. My name is Riley Ozuna, and joined by my mischievous co-host, Dignan. Took your wallet, you didn't even feel it. Kinda defeats the purpose when you say that. Today we're throwing back a few drinks at a silly bar. This is Guess, Guess the, the Rapper, Rapper from, from the Weird Lyric. If you didn't see the first couple ones of these, this is what we do. We see a weird lyric on the screen, and we have to guess which rapper said it. One point for each one we get right. Me versus Dignan versus you. Rocky in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Today's game is gonna be more like Rocky Three, uh, the one where you lose. <laughs> All right, before we get into it, make sure you like the video, subscribe if you want to see more. HiveMindTV.com for our merch. Check out our Cope Drop; it's on the screen right now. It's linked in description. We got stuff available still over there. We also got a second channel now. It's called Hive Mind Unlimited. Unlimited. We've got a bunch of videos out over there. Check those out. Subscribe to the new channel. Thank you to everybody who has so far. And as always, we've got our Patreon and our Cameo in the link in the, with links in the description if you want to support us. Thank you. All right, we've got. Don't try to treat me like I ain't famous. My apologies, are you into astrology? Cause, um, I'm trying to make it to Uranus. This one's loaded. Yeah. Don't treat me like I'm not famous, first off. And then apologizes, uh -huh. my apologies, <laughs> and then a question. Are you into astrology? <laughs> Cause um, I'm trying to make it in Uranus, which is a butthole pun. And it's not astrology, it's astronomy. Yeah. So it's just <laughs> another one where they just kind of get it wrong. Well, I guess you do have like a, you know, Uranus is ruled by Sagittarius or whatever. Like you <laughs> really? Have, you have like, yeah. You have like all your planets are ruled by different signs and stuff. Mine's ruled by Taco Bell. <laughs> <laughs> this doesn't ring any bells to me. It does for me. But in my head, I've got two voices. Inside me are two wolves. One of them is pensively looking into the night sky, and one of them's Blitzer. <laughs> this is the situation. <laughs> Three, two, one. Kanye? I put Eminem. It is Kanye West. Oh. What song is it? I could not place it. It is Getting It In uh, by Jada Kiss featuring Kanye West. Of course the song is called Getting It In. <laughs> it's a Uranus pun. You want to know the other wolf that was fighting in my head? I guess. Was Tyler. Oh. Only because I could see him, um, I'm trying to make it to Uranus. So yeah. Like like as a joke oh, back yeah. in the day. thought you already told me the other wolf inside of you was Blitzer. Well, one of them was pensively looking into the night sky, and uh -huh. one of them was Blitzer. The separate wolf fight in a different <laughs> ring, the one next to it, was Kanye versus Tyler. Got it, got <laughs> it. Which one's Blitzer in that situation? Oh, they're not like mirrors of each other. It's a whole wolf boxing gym that I started. Oh. It's called Wolf's Boxing Gym. <laughs> it's all in your head, too. Yep. That's cool, man. You have a beautiful imagination. Thank you. Grant, hit it. Don't try to treat me like I ain't famous. My apologies, are you into astrology? Cause um, I'm trying to make it to Uranus. That beat's fire. Oh, that song's awesome. Yeah. Second lyric, we've got ice cream. Ice cream. Scooping. Bow. Shitting. Shitting. Pooping. Huh? Shitting. Huh? Pooping. Look. Hey. It's hard to figure out what flow this could possibly uh, yeah. be. <laughs> pooping, huh? Shitting, huh? Pooping. Look. Hey. <laughs> Maybe something like that. See, the ad libs make me think that it's not the person I'm thinking of. I only like like real rap, so a lot of these are gonna be right over my head. Shot in the dark. And you're to blame. Darling, you, you give love. Oh. Bad name. Right into Phil Collins. I can feel it coming in the air tonight. We are young. And we'll set this world on fire. Burning on the dance floor. Whoa. Three, two, one. Kodak Black. Lil Pump. This is Fabio Foreign. Oh, okay, now I'm, yeah, now I'm remembering it. The bow, too. Bow. Yeah, that's such a New York thing. Ice cream, Ice cream scooping, bow. shitting, shitting, pooping, bow. shitting, bow. pooping. Bow. pooping. <laughs> Woo! Unbelievable. For the guy who had maybe the best Versa last year, to also this be a soundbite of his is, that's incredible. Versatility, that's range. Yeah, that's huge range. <laughs> kind of like Adam Sandler. Kind of like Bruce Hornsby. Range Brothers. He is not Bruce Hornsby. A but. bad night for Iverson at the Hornsby Ranch. Next one, we've got second verse, second verse, yay. Second verse, second verse again. Oh, I remember this one. This is just the epitome of lazy, lazy, lazy. I think it's the epitome of nervous. It's like you're in the booth and you're like, okay, second verse, second verse, A, like what am I gonna say? <laughs> second verse, second verse, again, again. yep, yeah, okay. Or it could be referencing a Bible scripture. <laughs> it could be like, book of John, second verse, second verse, yay. <laughs> Three, two, one. I put Trippy Red. Put Jack Harlow. This is Post Malone. Mm. <sighs> okay. I was in the, he's white. <laughs> you get a half point for that or he's what? He's got a beard. Second verse, 
second verse, yeah, second verse, second verse, again. He really pronounces again like that. Again. Post Malone is just like someone I'd love to hang out with and never support their music. Oh there's, yeah. There's I think not a lot of people like that. Jack Harlow is another one for me. Yes, you have no interest in hanging out with him. Really? He seems fun to hang out with. Mm. I feel like Post Malone is fun for you to hang out with yeah. because he loves cigarettes and Bud Lights. Exactly. And Jack Harlow doesn't drink anymore. Cigs though is the winner. Like if Jack got really into smoking cigs, I'd kind of come around on it. You think so? Yeah, if we were burning darts. So like you and, <laughs> you and Ski Mask then? Does he smoke squares? Smokes tons of Newports. I'd burn him back a whole pack with Ski Mask. He did give you a little salute when he, he, did. When he met you. He looked at me as if we had known each other. It was weird. He said, oh, hey. I was like, so I sh it should be the other way around. Yeah. <laughs> he was like, oh, you're that guy, right? Yeah. You're like, no, you're that guy. I'm just that guy. <laughs> he was like, bro, you're the guy. And I was like, no, bro, you're the guy. And then we got in one of those weird arguments with the door. Next we got, got so many chains, they call me Chaining Tatum. They do, they do. <laughs> I, I love this affirmation at the end. No, yes. no, they do. No, they. <laughs> what I just said, I know it sounds ridiculous <laughs> for a bunch of people to come up with such a genius pun, but they do. This is actually a good bar. You think this is a good bar? Absolutely. The world is split on it. Some people think it's the worst bar of this person's career, and some people think it's a great, funny little moment. I think it's genius. Genius? Absolutely. <laughs> I think we should be careful with our words. Chaining Tatum. Genius. Boy, what I'd like to do to chain up Channing Tatum, you know what I mean? <laughs> Can we stick on the fact that you're calling this bar genius? Ooh, make Channing Tatum my little house dog. <laughs> Bark for me, Channing. <laughs> Bad dog, quit peeing on the carpet. Now I give him a little treat anyway, because I kind of like his bad behavior. And then I get down on the ground and I start playing dog with him too. <laughs> Lapping liquor out of a dog bowl. We're talking Albert Einstein. Uh -huh. We're talking Steve Jobs, Andy Kaufman, Jimmy Fallon. Yeah. You know, we're talking like, like let's think about the word genius. Yeah, this is genius. Three, two, one. Drake. Lil Baby. This is Drake. Damn it. On pop style. Yes. Damn it. Because honestly, I feel like the reason he says this bar on this song is because because it's a song with Kanye. This is like a Kanye type of bar. Yeah, I really want to hear him say it because I this is not familiar to me. Got so many chain, they call me chain and tatum. You think Channing Tatum listens to that song or like shows it to his friends? I think no matter how famous you are, when right. stuff like that happens, of course you're gonna get the texts. Like right. anybody who knows you is gonna be like, LOL, did you hear that Drake song mm -hmm. with the bar about you? But then like they also have to be like, yeah, do you know that Drake song yeah, with the bar about me? Sure. Like they have to do that to other yeah. people. Yeah. And it's a charming, I think people think of it as somewhat narcissistic or like egotistical, but I think it's actually kind of like a cute, funny thing. Like it makes it endearing if yeah. they like are into it. Yeah, a know? little bit. And Channing Tatum's time has come and passed. He has fallen off. Yeah, he's not really doing much these days. Yeah, last movie he did, he was like a vet who like rescues a dog. His buddy, it's a bomb guy in Iraq, had his loyal dog with him. Buddy dies, leaves dog to best bud Channing. A little more of a handful than he anticipated. Has to go on a cross country road trip to like take it to his buddy's grave or funeral or something. Ends up, you know, teaching him a lesson about life and love lost and the difficulties you have to handle in and outside of the civilian life. <laughs> Next one, like as a child, I was so dismissive of the baked potato till I tried that shit. Now the baked potato is my favorite kind potato. Aw, baked potatoes are so kind. It's almost like a dumb, a conversation with your really high friend. Yes, exactly. That's how I read it, it was like, like someone stoned sitting there. Like as a child, I was so dismissive of the baked potato till I tried that shit. <laughs> Now the baked potato is my favorite kind potato. Drink some water, man. It's gonna be a long night. <laughs> when a hamster's on a wheel, do you think it thinks it's going somewhere? Or like, does it know that it's on a wheel? It doesn't think, buddy. Just a hamster, don't. Don't do this to yourself again. Don't try and put your mind inside a little critters. This was bad last time. Do you think Shaquille O'Neal has ever sat down and watched TV for an extended period of time without seeing himself in one of the commercials. I don't know. Is this important right now? It's just like fascinating. You ever been watching TV and been like, oh my God, like every, like you're flipping through channels, you're like, that's fire, that's fire, <laughs> that's fire. Like you gotta set it up so you can go, like you have the commercials timed, you know? That's pretty much what being high is like. Legalize weed because it makes TV better. Three, two, one. Hamble Burris. Kendrick Lamar. This is Lil Dicky. Mm. Oh, that was kind of, that was where I was headed to, you yeah. know? I thought comedian. So he said favorite kind potato? You'll see. Why didn't he use of? 
favorite kind of potato. So this mess of other baked potato till I try that shit. Now the baked potato with my favorite kind of potato. I can see how he got away with it. Shout out the dick man. Lil Dicky's song, Cocaine. I'm really curious like how we got there. I'm gonna listen to the rest of that song later. Yeah, me too. I got stuck in the fact that in the show, they call him LD. And then I realized that sometimes they call Larry David LD uh -huh, in Curb Enthusiasm. And it was also produced, the show was produced by the same producer from Curb, which is so weird. And then I thought about how Logan Paul's friends call him LP. And I'm like, are like weird mogul white guys, do they always just call them their initials? I like going by DZ, my initials. I thought your last name was Durkin. Oh. What? What do you think my last name was? Durkin. Ah, oh, man. You've told me that many times you said it's Dignan Durkin. Never did. <laughs> it's Zazumba. Zazumba. <laughs> yeah, that's actually the shortened version too. What's the full last name? Zazumba Zaffodil. Zazumba Zaffodil. I dropped the second one. It's a long family story. I don't really want to get into it, but yeah. Sounds like it'd be a long family story. It's a long family name. Holy shit. Okay, now we're dragging my family through the mud. Zazumba Zaffodil. Chill, it's just Zazumba now. Okay, sorry. I don't I don't mean to disrespect the Zazumba family, but you told me your last name was Durkin. And all of your siblings have D names, so you said that that was Y. Like your brother Dunlap. It's Zazumba. Zumba now, all right? Dunlap Zazumba? I don't even want to talk about Dunlap, dude. What's wrong with Dunlap? He was cool. He owes me 50 bucks. 50 bucks and you're that? You don't even want to mention him? Fuck him. Fuck him for yeah. $50. He <laughs> turned his back on the Zaffodil family. I don't know, man. He was cool when I met him. He had a bunch of sick video games. You can call me DZ if you want, all right? I would prefer to just call you Dignan. Okay. I like Durkin way more. Okay, great. I wish your last name was... Frevels. Riley Frevels? Yes. Okay. We're getting sidetracked. Yeah, we're getting boss. sidetracked. Go. We got shit we have to do. We have to do this video, but yeah. Dignan Zazumba, everybody. <laughs> yes. It's not, you don't have to comment it. Now we got, she doing tricks with her pussy. I guess she's a magician. <laughs> Yo, why don't I know this? This is like, one, this is amazing. Hopefully not a street magician, you know what I mean? <laughs> You gotta pay to see that show. Let's see her pull a rabbit out of that. You know what I mean? <laughs> Has sex with a magician. I don't mind if she a freak. That's like Babytron. Mind freak. Mind freak Chris Angel mm. sort of thing. Maybe put an angel in the other part, you know? Jeez. Oh, took an angel to Ruth's Chris. I don't mind if she a freak. And that pussy got me levitating. You could say that afterwards. Yeah, he yeah. made everybody <laughs> levitate through their TVs, uh -huh. including myself. You know, he also made an elephant disappear. As did we when we had a clarifying conversation and got the elephant out of the room. You know? uh, it wasn't magic. That was just... Well, it felt like magic to me. <laughs> To finally get over that hump emotionally with you. Hump day? You remember that commercial? Yeah, I remember that commercial. Yeah. Yeah. I forgot, how could I forget? <laughs> Camel in the office? Fuck, dude. Yeah. Three, two, one. Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne. This is Big Sean. Ah. Yeah, we, can, we can high five yeah. on Lil Wayne. Yeah, yeah. see? Oh, the Waynes are kissing. <laughs> see, yeah. Big Sean definitely doing a Lil Wayne thing here. Right. And it makes it so much worse. Now yeah. that I know it's Big Sean, I'm like, man, I accidentally liked a Big Sean bar when yeah. it was written down on paper. I was listening to some of No Ceilings yesterday. Yeah. And Wayne down on me. He's doing like a weird, like the auto tune singing Lil Wayne. And he says, I got a super wet, just like bass pussy. <laughs> That is not even a bar. That's no. like nothing. That means nothing. Like you just, it's almost like operating in a world where people say bass pussy already. <laughs> exactly. <You know? laughs> she doing tricks with a pussy. I guess she's a magician. On a Logic song, no less. Oh, know? of course. I think I would really like Big Sean if he was an entire different person. You know what I mean? Taller, for sure. Next one. <laughs> Your groom look like a broom and it make me ha ha ha. This isn't even like a normal insult. You're just saying they look like a broom because it rhymes with groom. Do they mean his hair is messy? Do they mean he's tall and skinny? Horse hair? What could be the insult here? And then to say it make me ha ha ha. <laughs> Like, I feel like it has to be in a pop song or something. And it's like, your groom look like a broom and it make me ha ha ha. You know? Yeah. Something like that. Shroom would have been way funnier. Your groom look like a shroom? Yeah, it's funny. What about like, your groom look like an idiot fuck face? Yeah, that's hilarious. Yeah, like something like that would be really good. Your groom look like Kirby who can't swallow no more. Your groom has kind eyes. He seems like somebody that would be great to spend the rest of your life with. And it make me ha ha ha. Like not in a traditionally funny way. Like, you know, I'm laughing at my own depression. Cause I don't have no one like that. 
our relationship didn't go too well and it ended even worse. Mm -hmm. But now you're with someone who makes you happy and fulfilled and you're getting married. And I respect that. I understand that it might be weird for me to be at the wedding. So I respect your decision to not invite me to it because it may be distracting for you or make you confused. That's cool with me. I will keep a respectable distance and I will also be cheering you on from the sidelines as a person who was once in your life and made a lot of mistakes. But now you're with someone who seems very good and will support you no matter what, the way that I never could. And that's okay. All I can do is learn and grow. I wish you luck on your new marriage. Bars. Three, two, one. Uzi? I put Pitbull. This is a mean A. Oh. oh. People from Oregon are weird as shit, so. <laughs> yeah. Kinda adds up. I really thought it was gonna be like in the midst of Uzi doing like a DMV flow or something. Right. And it was just like slammed in there with a million other bars. You said pop music and I just put Pitbull down. That was my logic. Pitbull was kind of my logic too. Yeah. I just grew up in a different era, you know? Yeah. Your groom look like a broom and it make me ha ha ha. Wow, I, that <laughs> sounds like a joke song. <laughs> dude, dude, beep, <laughs> beep, ding dong. <laughs> Good for you, your groom looks like a broom and it make me ha ha ha. <laughs> sounds like a mean A was being a bit of a mean E. During <laughs> Hit me with that next lyric, you spicy communist. You calling Grant a communist? I'm calling you a communist. Oh. Okay. Grant's a hardcore liberal. Oh. Cause she get wet and she suck me like an insect. She my stepsister, so I guess that's incest. Ugh. <laughs> What's wrong with this one? Incest. Oh, this one's really, really gross. Now, mesquite barbecue, when they say that. Mm -hmm. That have anything to do with mosquitoes? Cause there are a lot of mosquitoes at the barbecues I be going to. <laughs> No, it doesn't. Oh, okay. It's cool. type of wood. Oh. Which I guess could be a penis, and it all comes back. Oh, interesting. God, my stepsister can cook. Ooh, boy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. She's a good cook. No, yeah, totally. She went to culinary school. Yeah, just in the context of what we're doing, it feels... My stepsister can cook. Yeah, totally. Especially barbecue. She's great at smoking meats. Slow roast them until they're so tender you can pull them right off the bone. So did she take the last name Zazumba, or like, is, is your stepsister's last name also Zazumba? No, it's Rock. Rock? Yeah. Why are you so shocked? About I'm not. I, like, you're, you're, you're assuming my shockedness. I'm just saying, okay, Rock. Millie is her first name. Millie is her first name. <laughs> okay. She thought of a famous dance. You might have heard of it. She came up with the Millie Rock? No, she came up with the Macarena. She's much older than me. What? The creator of the Macarena is named Millie Rock and is also your stepsister? Yes. <laughs> what a wild world we live in. Three, two, one. Lil Yachty. Jay-Z. This is Lil Yachty. <laughs> Jay-Z. Well, maybe some early work or something. Right. This is on priorities? Yes. My priorities are fucked. My priorities are fucked. <laughs> they must be to have this line. Cause she get wet. And she sucked me like an insect. She my stepsister, so I guess that's incest. Such a good song. Yeah, I remember that song now. Just that somehow that lyric slipped my mind. <laughs> Gross. Next one. Never let me slip, because if I slip, then I'm slipping. Oh, that's facts. The only way you catch me slipping is if I slip, because then I'm slipping. Right. Don't know who you think you caught. Not me slipping. I'm done with the bullshit. Ska T Pippin. Pretty wise, man. Done with the bullshit. He played for the shits. <laughs> yeah, the Chicago shits. Yeah, the yeah. Chicago shits. Yeah, I get it though. Like yeah. I get it because I'm a sports fan. Let's go shits. Let's go shits. More like Steve Purr, Slay King. You know what I mean? <laughs> Three, two, one. I put Ludacris. I put Nav. This is Dr. Dre. Oh. oh. I was about to say Dr. J, and I was like, that's enough of the basketball shit. <laughs> Never let me slip, because if I slip, then I'm slipping. I mean, somehow. Yeah. That's somehow, fire. Yeah, somehow yeah. it really works. This is the reverse Big Sean. Written, it looks stupid. Yeah. But when he says it in the song, fire. I'm like, damn, he's got a point. God, he's buff. Yeah, he's fucking ripped. Guess you have one aneurysm, and all of a sudden. Hey, he got a divorce, too. Him. Oh, yeah, sorry. An aneurysm and a divorce. Thank you. That's my bad. He made a mistake. He got an aneurysm. Yeah, no, that's my Hey, listen, people a, can change. A divorce, sure. no control over that. I mean, that kind of shit happens. Can happen in your sleep. Yeah, it randomly happens. Yeah. You know? But an aneurysm, so what? He fucked up. I mean, sure, it affects the kids and stuff, but yeah. you know, deal with that in your own life, you know? It's not their fault either. They'll no. grow to know that. If your parents had an aneurysm, it's not your fault, kid. And you're lucky you survived the divorce, honestly. Those things can be scary. <laughs> it's okay to eat fish because they don't have any feelings. I've been saying this for a long time. Yeah. I've always wondered that. It's something weird about the people who refuse to eat animals, but we We'll eat fish. If you lived underwater, would you do the opposite? I think it's like the familiarity. Like you, we share the land with the land creatures. Yeah, but I've been to the year 3000. 
And not much had changed, but we did live underwater. And uh, that seems like a lot changed. I mean, it's like pretty much the same, but it's just underwater. Like everything is. That's, I mean, so much must have happened. I see where you're like, I, I get what you're saying. But yeah. like, to me, it didn't feel much different. Does that make sense? I mean, that's remarkable. The fact that it even felt normal. No, yeah, I felt like I, I was chilling. Same deal. You didn't see any of my family members, did you? Oh, you know what? I forgot to tell you. I ran into your great, great, great granddaughter. Oh, really? Yeah, she's doing fine. <laughs> <laughs> she's adjusted really really well to everything being underwater. She's not like a fish person or anything, is she? Um, you know, I didn't get a good look at whether she had gills or not, but it's kind of like, it doesn't matter. Nobody really treats anybody any different. Nice. It, that, yeah. Well, thanks, man. If yeah, you, for if sure. you go back, uh, let her know I said what up, though. Okay, I'll probably go back, honestly. <laughs> yeah, you liked yeah. it? Yeah. I was with these dudes, these brothers, and they were like hella cool. Oh. Good singers, too. Really? God damn, they're good singers. So yeah. music's still important in the future. No, they didn't give a shit there. It's uh, on the way. Oh, on the way they sang. You. In the time machine, yeah. We were chilling and it's hard to sing underwater, bro. I mean, you can't really hear shit. Three, two, one. Weezer, Bad Bunny. This is Nirvana. Oh my God. Fuck. I was literally in my head being like singing it like a pop song. So I was just trying to place it somewhere completely different. It's okay to eat fish because they don't have any feelings. Yeah, never picked that one up. <laughs> It's he like, does sing it super weird. That like is weird. Like I felt like that was like a joke. <laughs> like Grant put in like a fake video or something. That's no, crazy. He's singing it in such an odd cadence. Yeah. Like I've always thought that. And it's on an album cover where a baby's in a pool is the baby fish and our capitalists eating the babies. No, that's just from that was from that trip I went on. The one where I saw your great 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 granddaughter. He was like, yeah. That was the future. Yeah, totally. Oh, is that the mayor or something? Uh no, it's just a, some kid. Oh, I'm assuming in the future babies will be mayors. I don't know why. Why? No, you shouldn't assume that. Well, babies Again, not much has changed, man. It's just underwater. Yeah, but that's so much. No, but a baby mayor? I mean, come on, let's be realistic. Okay? I'm assuming in the future people will be able to learn faster. No, it's literally the exact same. It's just underwater. It makes no sense. Yes, something, it does. Something it's else pretty, to... I mean, it's. I'm telling you what it is. What's the price of gas? It's like, you know, 350 It's gone down a little bit. But oh, really? Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Oh, good on Joe. Joe's, yeah, he's still, <laughs> he's still the guy. So it's that much the same. Yeah, everything is the same, except for it's underwater. <laughs> Next one we've got, my mama named me. My papa gave me cock to take a piss with. <laughs> Really reducing your parents down to these two things that they did. All right, you can give him his name. Where'd you get your name? Oh, that's from my mom. And what about that cock to piss with? <laughs> that was my dad. Shake what your mama gave you. Shake my name? I shake what my daddy gave me. After you piss. <laughs> yeah, yeah after you, you gotta piss. get the last drops off. Yeah. yeah. Gave me cock. My papa gave me cock. <laughs> To piss with. Hey, chill. <laughs> Get your heads out of the gutter. <laughs> Three, two, one. Travis Scott, NLE Choppa. This is ASAP Rocky. Oh. Ah, I was close. Ah. Oh, well, wait, where'd it go? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh, you know. Hmm. No. Oh, there it is. Took a while to land, but. My mama named me, my papa gave me cock to take the piss with Ah, I remember it now. Damn, that witch is rich. <laughs> you sound like a Bentley broomstick. Hi, I'm making a Vivian Westwood chain. <laughs> and next, some Amira jeans. Ooh. Rich witch hopped on her broom, we went to witch witch. Damn. You know, like the chain restaurant witch witch. <laughs> yeah, the, the kind of niche <laughs> chain <laughs> restaurant, yeah. witch witch. Yeah, it's a sandwich place. Yeah, it's subpar too. Yeah, subpar sandwich yeah, place. Big time. Kind of sidebar here, but why do we call things that are bad subpar? If I went out and played 18 and was subpar, you'd be like, holy shit, congratulations. <laughs> oh, I didn't even really think about that because golf is about being the lowest. Like you want to shoot under par, you want to be subpar. Oh, when golf, whoa. That's weird, right? Wait a minute. Oh, that place sucks. A real subpar restaurant. Hey, to do another sidebar here, is there a golf themed submarine sandwich restaurant yeah. called P Subpar? That's pretty good. Their signature chicken sub? Yeah. It's called the birdie. Maybe there's like a, a signature sauce there, bogey sauce. Or like the double burger is the double bogey. Ah, the double bogey. You could have a wedge salad. Wedge salad. <laughs> yeah. Famous wedge salad for the misses. Uh-huh. How have we been skipping over this? The club sandwich. Yeah, clubhouse. Tea. Mm -hmm. Ah, I found the best thing for it, okay? Right when you walk in, you're assigned a caddy who works at the restaurant <laughs> awesome. and follows you around and is like, yeah, I think you're gonna want ketchup on that. You've already had three beers. I think it's time you go for the shots. <laughs> Fireballs for the whole table. You got the wall for that? Okay, I trust you. <laughs> Next one we've got, I don't duck nobody but tape. 
Yeah, that was a setup for a punchline on duct tape. <laughs> oh boy. I mean, to me, this can only really be one person. This can only be one person to you, huh? Yes. Oh, my God. What? Yeah, very close to me. I'm trying to add more drama to the show. Yes. <laughs> Please. <laughs> like and subscribe. No! I fucking told you. I didn't mean it. This show is a fucking comedy. No! I will be damned! <gasps> Jesus. If this show is anything but a comedy. Don't forget our Patreon. <laughs> Some merch is still available. Oh! Cameo helps too. Jesus, yes it does. The pain in my heart for every subscriber who has not joined the Patreon, despite it only being $5 a month, breaks what is left of my brittle, cold heart. <sighs> but Dignan, they need to laugh. Then laugh, I'll make them. <laughs> Damn it. Then laugh, I'll make them. Three, two, one. Childish Gambino? It's logic. This is Nicki Minaj. Nicki oh. Minaj says this. Oh, it's like totally her cadence now that I'm thinking about it. Nobody but tape. Gear. Yeah, that was a setup for a punchline on duck Not her best bar. One of the worst. Yeah. Well, three nothing is your final score. That was another game of Guess the Rapper from the Weird Lyric. Let us know if you want us to do this one again and send some weird lyrics to Grant, whose Instagram is in the description of the video. Along with our Patreon, our Cameo, all that stuff that we keep mentioning that you guys should uh, to go join. Other than that, make sure you like the video, subscribe, all that stuff I said at the beginning. And Dickie, do you want to leave these people with some advice to leave or live their lives by? For what you think is who you become. All right, this has been Hot My TV. We love you, appreciate you, and guess what? We'll see you in the next one. <laughs> we'll be here. Fuckers, let us out. Found him the size of a Mr. Beast burger. <laughs> now, is her last name also Zuzu Vela or whatever your name is? <laughs> What is it? Zuzumbador? Literally, fuck you, bro. I'm not a basketball fan, but every fall is taco fall for me. Yeah. I love eating those at that season. <laughs> you literally <laughs> just, like, I just taught you who taco fall was. September, October, <laughs> November are big taco times for me. I eat a lot of tacos then, and it has nothing to do with Chinese basketball star <laughs> taco fall. <laughs> it took you 40 seconds to turn someone you just learned into a pun. Is that like a healthy way to learn about people? Dude? Like, and his and his father, <laughs> Lavar Fall. God damn it. Shake it once, that's fine. Shake it twice, that's okay. Shake it three times. You're playing, playing with, with yourself, yourself. Oh, you know that song? again. <laughs> oh, it's, <laughs> it's like a ballad. Yeah. yeah. It's all right, buddy. I think our trash can just got struck by lightning. <laughs> Show's about jokes. It's always been about jokes.